Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review all about Evil. See what they did there? And this is a horror comedy that technically, I guess, it says it came out, it was a 2010 film, but it's getting distributed now, which probably says a lot. But the premise of this film is a mousy librarian inherits her father's beloved theater, and she winds up kind of backing into becoming a serial killer, making snuff films, and becoming super popular, while a young man who used to be a fan of hers slowly starts to piece things together because all of the adults in the equation are complete and utter morons and just want to focus on him because, oh my god, he likes horror movies, he must be a serial killer. And that's the gist of the story. And Joshua Granell, who wrote and directed this film, leans heavily into this is low budget, it is campy as hell. It is crazy over the top. And it knows exactly what it wants to be. And you have Natasha Leone who plays Deborah. Who is this young woman who transitions into becoming this femme fatale of a serial killer slash director of snuff films. And she's obviously, like, she's a talented actress. And she's really hamming it up here like over the top hamming it up but it fits what the film is going for and most of the other acting is meh. and also there's like at least multiple 30 something year olds who are definitely playing teenagers and they stick out like a sore thumb all these characters are obnoxious they're thinly written and you basically have thomas decker who is steven who is our main character who is basically the only one that seems to be like any kind of functioning human being who is in a caricature. He's just a nice guy who likes horror movies and he thinks that DeBoer is pretty cool. And then he realizes that his date goes missing, his best friend goes missing, and everybody thinks he's some kind of like wants to come in and shoot up the school kind of person. And... We're all sitting here as an audience just trying to suspend our disbelief with how idiotic every single character in this film is, and it's really hard. At least it was for me to get past how stupid everybody was, and, you know, I could see where this film was going for. It's very campy, it's absurd, it's ridiculous, but the tone of this film feels a lot more mean-spirited than some other films like Death, uh, Death Drop Gorgeous that I saw last year, which was really cheesy and really fun and crazy. This felt too mean-spirited to me. And, like, for the same reasons I don't like the Saw movies, felt like it was just glorifying torture? Torturous kinds of things in a way that... Like, I know it's supposed to look campy, but, like, it's grotesque, and it just hangs on, and, I don't know, it didn't click for me. And I could tell where this could click for other people who enjoy this kind of thing. Like, obviously, there's a lot of fans of Saw, because those films make a lot of money. But, like, for me, this kind of thing just felt way too mean-spirited. The writing was really really weak and there's just situations where it goes for gross out humor or just like gross out reaction in general that just really falls flat on its face and if you don't have characters that you can connect with all you have left here is a bunch of over-the-top gratuitous violence and gore that looks silly and campy and one performance that is from Natasha Leone who's just going for the sky and you could appreciate those kinds of things, but also not like the movie. And I'm definitely leaning towards, like, I didn't enjoy this, I didn't like this, and it just didn't click for me, and it felt mean in many ways. And I had a bad taste in my mouth as I wrapped up this film and just kind of sitting here like, no, not for me. And there's a very specific group of people that I feel like you could recommend this to that will get appreciation out of it. I'm just not one of them. But those are my thoughts on All About Evil. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.